Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss why string is immutable in Java. First let us understand what string is and what immutability means. Well, string is a sequence of characters in Java and can be declared in two ways, string literal and string object. Here is a declaration of string literal. When we declare a string literal and initialize it, then JVM stores it on heap memory at a spe special location called string constant pool. When we create another string literal, then JVM verifies if this string does exist in the string constant pool. If it does, then it returns the reference of it or else creates a new one within the pool. And the second way of creating the string is by creating the string object using the keyword new. Then JVM creates it, stores it in the heap memory. And when we create another string object with the same string, same content, it still creates a new object within the heap memory as we are explicitly using the keyword new. Now look at this. When we create a string object using new keyword, but on top of it, we are trying to use intern method. So in this case, what happens is a new string is created in the heap memory only if it doesn't exist in the string constant pool. If the same string exists in the string constant pool, then a reference of it is written or else the new string will be created in the heap memory. So that's what the intern method does. Now, this is very important. When we try to modify an existing string. So in this case, we are using a string method called concat. That is, we are trying to append some content to the existing string. So what should happen? the existing should, string should actually modify it to Java program in this case, but it never happens. So JVM actually creates a new string within the string constant pool called Java program instead of modifying the existing one. So this is what we call it as immutability in Java. That is when we create a string, so and thereby if we modify it, so the existing string is not disturbed. So it remains as is, but a new string is created with the modified content and there are multiple reasons for that so let's see one by one now first one security so string is most commonly used object in java applications which is used to hold sensitive data such as connection urls usernames passwords etc and if string was not made immutable, any attacker will be able to change the username and password, which will be a security threat. For example, here is a method which takes username as a parameter. So username is verified if it contains any character other than alphanumeric. If it does, so a security exception is thrown. And the second part is we are initializing the database and then executing an update query, which actually takes username as a parameter. So there is a chance that, you know, between initializing the database and executing the update query, an attacker can actually modify the existing parameter username, you know, parameter username, right? So, but if string was not made immutable, just assume. In that case, what happens? Update query is going to execute with the modified content of the hacker, right? So, which will be a serious security concern, right? But as string was made immutable, so the, even though the username is modified in this case, a new string will be created in the string constant pool, but the original or the existing string is never modified. Now, another reason is synchronization. So string can be shared across multiple threads running simultaneously. So we can say string is a thread safe one as a new string would be created in the string pool instead of modifying the existing one. So we can say strings are safer multi-threading. Another good reason why string was designed immutable was caching. We all know hash code is a method which is present in the object class, which is inherited by all classes in Java. And string class is no exception to that. And also hash code method is overridden in string class to facilitate caching. Hash is calculated and cached during the first hash code method call. This improves the performance of collections that uses hash implementations like hash map, hash table, and so on when operated with the string objects. 
and the last reason is performance so string pool exists because strings are immutable this enhances the performance by saving heap memory and fast tracks of hash implementations so in summary improving the performance of string have a considerable effect on improving the performance of the whole application so these are the main reasons why string was designed immutable in java so in this video we have discussed what immutability mean and what are the reasons for being string immutable so that's all for this video if you like the video please like subscribe and share it thanks for watching